Hey guys, so for today's video, we're going to be talking about the Jaclyn Hill X Morphe Vault Collection. I'm so excited. I have been so ready for this collab to come out since she announced it. And as you guys know, I love the original Jaclyn Hill palette. It's just like one of my favorite palettes since it came out. It's legit, like I use it every single week and I use it on all my clients. I love that palette. I think it's just so good. I did get my hands on three of the four palettes. I kid you not, I went to my Ulta, I got there at 10.05 and they were already sold out of one of the palettes. The Armed and Gorgeous Eyeshadow Palette. I didn't get that one. That My Ulta was sold out of that one. I wasn't too mad about it because I don't really wear a lot of gold, but I really wanted that one for the transitions. That green and those oranges were speaking to me. So I'm gonna have to pick it up whenever it comes back in stock at Ulta. I picked these three up at Ulta. They retail for $15 a piece. They do not sell them in the bundle at the Ulta stores. I believe they only have them on Morphe. So like I said, one of the palettes was already sold out. I could not get my hands on that, so I'm not going to be reviewing it um, right now. If I can get that in time and it comes back in stock, I don't think it'll come back in stock that quickly. But if it does, I'll go ahead and review it. I did go ahead and order another collection so I could do a giveaway. Um, so I have to wait for that to come in. And when it comes in, I'll go ahead and um, just make the giveaway official. And yeah, I'm excited to do this giveaway. I love to do giveaways. Um, just in general, I really like to just give back. I enjoy that. And I haven't done a ton of giveaways, but the ones that I have done, I just feel like I've been so lucky with the most kind and appreciative people who follow me, um, subscribers, people who follow me on Instagram. They've just been so kind and they've, they've been so appreciative and so thankful and I like being able to do that for people. So yeah, I am gonna have a giveaway with the entire collection. Again, I'll mention it when it comes in. Armed and Gorgeous palette, I was gonna try to order that when I ordered the collection for the giveaway, but the way that the website was set up was that um, when you got on the website and clicked on the palette, you got had to get in line per se and you couldn't X out or anything and I was scared that if I went back to just get that one palette it was gonna sell out because again I know her first palette sold out so fast so yeah I didn't end up getting it it's okay it's not a big deal I'll get it at some point in time I know my hair looks so crazy right now I got home so well I didn't get home super late I got home at like 9 30 from working out I had like a really hard <laughs> workout and I was just drenched like I was so covered in sweat it was disgusting I know I've said before I only wash my hair like once or twice a week last night I just had to wash my hair by the time I was done showering and everything it was like 10 30 and there was just no way I was gonna blow dry it so that's why it looks like this it's really frizzy and crazy and just disgusting and it's okay we're gonna just deal with it I promise in my next video I'll try to fix my hair the best that I can for you guys so yeah let's go ahead and just jump into the video the first one I think I want to play with is this one this is the dark magic one this was the one I was actually the most excited for because I'm into these ooh, 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 ooh. I'm into these tones right now. These greens, uh, this blue looks stunning. And then this like silvery taupe. I am obsessed with taupe. I love me a good taupe shape. I'll go ahead and insert swatches right now so you can see what everything looks like swatched out. It comes with two, four, six, eight, ten shades for $15. Really, really nice price. I like that these are actually smaller palettes. Nice for travel. I'm excited because I mentioned in my last video I'm taking a trip soon to visit my best friend in Ohio and these are going to just be so perfect for travel. So I think I'm going to actually take uh, maybe all three of them on my trip. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, nice and sleek. The packaging is super cute. This one has little like dark um, speckles on the front. So I guess that goes with the Dark Magic palette. I don't know why, but Dark Magic reminds me of Charm. Did you guys ever watch that show? That was my favorite show. Actually, I think it's still one of my favorite shows ever. I used to pretend like I was a uh, Halliwell sister when I was a kid and I used to watch that show. And then the Bling Boss, it has little purple specks on it. And then this one is the Ring the Alarm. It has like little brown 
reddish bronzy speck. So yeah, super cute. I'm just gonna go ahead and start by priming my eyes. I'm taking my soft ochre, which is basically done. It's a little dried out, so I'm just gonna do like a little drop of Inglot just to make it uh, more creamy and workable. And anyways, I know there was a lot of controversy when this palette first came out. When Jaclyn Hill first announced it, I remember thinking I really want to do a giveaway with this palette. As you guys know, the reviews were not the best. Um, a lot of people said that they were coming off patchy and they were just not consistent. After just seeing the reviews and knowing how good her first palette is and you know I've been watching her for a long time. Obviously I don't know her personally but I know um, what a perfectionist she is and her first palette was so incredible. I was a little disappointed and I had actually decided I wasn't going to purchase the palette after all until she had gotten on social media and announced that there was something wrong with the palettes in production and as you guys know they pushed the release back. I know people gave her a lot of shit for you know what happened and to be honest I really don't know why like she doesn't run the uh, lab <laughs> that's making the palettes. She's gonna make the money regardless. Morphe is a very popular brand. She's a very popular influencer and instead of just being like, you know what, let's just go ahead and sell it. People will buy it because they will. Um, they pushed the date back and I thought that was really great and I, I'm really glad to see that a company did something like that. So yeah, I just wanted to mention that because I know she did get a lot of shit. Okay, I just wanted to zoom you guys in so you could really see all up in the nitty gritty. I think I'm gonna start with this shade right here. This is the shade Potion. It's a really pretty like, it's almost like a lime green but with like a hint of forest. I'm gonna take this with a Sigma, this is my E40, my favorite blending brush. Also, I don't think I've ever mentioned this to you guys, um, I recently became a Sigma affiliate, so I do have a discount code for you guys. I will link it below, it's just Gloss & Talk. You can use it to save 10%. Um, it is a commission-based code, so I will make commission if you guys use my code. I think I became an affiliate like maybe a month ago or so. And I just don't think I ever mentioned it. So yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know it's in the description box below. Don't feel pressured to use it if you're not comfortable using discount codes. It's totally cool. But if you do decide to use it, it is there and it is very much appreciated. So far so good. It looks good. The pigmentation is there. Blend it out really, really nicely. I'm gonna take my E25 brush. This is also from Sigma. I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. This is the shade Inside Job. I'm just going to focus this right underneath my transition shade. I'm like really feeling a dramatic ass look today. I am kind of back to not setting my base. I used to actually never set my base and I remember when it started to get very trendy, that was like the thing was to set your eyeshadow base. I haven't been doing that for that long, um, maybe like a year or so, but I'm back to not setting my base. I just had to build way, 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 way too much and I was like, let me go back to not setting my base. I kind of had to get used to it again, but I am liking it a lot more. Okay, so I'm gonna take Busted. It's this like deep, navy bluish color. I'm gonna take this with my BH Cosmetics brush. It's this little tiny detailed brush. This brush is the V20. It's one of their vegan brushes. I'm just gonna look straight into my mirror and kind of lift up my eye a little bit. I'm just gonna focus this right in the very crease of my eye. I wanna add just a little more definition. I'm gonna take that E25 with nothing on it. There's just whatever is left over and I'm just gonna kinda Blend out that little line right there. Just kind of blend the blue into that uh, second green color that we use. Make it look a little more seamless. I'm gonna take this shade right here. This is the shade Mojo. It's gonna take it with this little IBY beauty brush. Also, I wanna mention this as well. There's not really a lot of kick up. I know some people hate kick up and some people don't care. I personally don't care as long as the shadow is workable. So if you can see, I'm just tapping this in here. I mean, there is definitely a little bit, but definitely not that bad. I'm gonna take this and pat it on the outer V of my eye. 
I'm gonna go back in with my E25 and then just kind of diffuse this line. Let's do this one right here. I'm gonna take this with this Luxie brush. This is the 239, it's a precision shader brush. I'm actually gonna keep this in the center of my lid and fade this out because I wanna go in with Power Cut on the inner part of my lid. So I'm just gonna go ahead and lay that in the center. And I didn't wet this brush or anything, so this is the true pigment without wetting it. I'm just gonna go ahead and take my pinky, just make it a little more intense. Sometimes you just need a finger, you know? I'm just gonna take this brush from Morphe. This is the M167. It's just a flat brush, but it's a larger flat brush. I'm gonna go in with this one right here. I already know I'm gonna love this one. I can feel it in my bones. I'm gonna take that and pack it on this inner part of the eye, like the very inner corner. Oh my God, look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. The very inner corner, and then just kind of fade it into, oh my God, that's so pretty. Anyways, I like can't finish my sentence cause I'm just in awe. I'm gonna fade this into diversion. I'm gonna go back in with my little V20 brush. Just kind of blend out that line right there. Same thing on this side. So I'm gonna focus these videos just on the eyeshadow look in particular. I'm not gonna be showing you guys my full face. I'll go ahead and do that stuff off camera and then I'll be right back and we will finish off the lower lash line together. Okay, I'm back. Looking much better than when I left you guys. I'll just make sure to list everything that I used on my face in the description box below since I'm just doing eyes in this video. Actually what I'm gonna do is take a little bit of this gel liner. This is from Dose of Colors. This is the black one, it's called Shady. I'm gonna take it with this little Sigma brush. This is a Sigma Wing Liner E06 brush. And I'm gonna try to do this without my eyes watering because this always tickles my eyeballs. It's like literal torture. I'm just gonna take this and tie line my top waterline since I am doing a really dramatic, smoky look. I'm gonna go ahead and take this brush from Morphe. This is a E17. This is like my favorite lower lash line brush of life. And I'm gonna take the green, the shimmery green. This is called Trickery. This outer corner, I'm just gonna take it and connect it at the very bottom. I'm not gonna take it up because I don't want it to run into the transitions. I wanna keep that gradient the way that it is, but I am just going to connect it just right there, like at the very end of my top lash line. I'm gonna take this flat definer brush. This is also from Morphe, but you can use any brush that you have. You don't have to use the brushes that I'm mentioning, but I like to let you guys know what I'm using if you are interested or just for reference. If you guys do have these brushes, maybe you don't know how to use them or you have something similar. So I just took the black Temptress. It's such a dark, dark black. This is probably like one of the blackest blacks I have ever used. I'm just gonna blend it in so the black line doesn't look super, super, super harsh. I'm gonna go in with that same gel liner from Dose, and then I'm gonna take the same Sigma brush, line my lower lash line. I like to really take this and really press it into the lashes, because sometimes if you don't take the time to kind of really just press it into the lashes, you can kind of see skin still. And I don't want to see any skin, I just want it to be really, really black on the lower lash line. These are the Flutter Lashes in the style Intoxicating. So I actually bought these because of Miss Jacqueline herself. I forgot about them for a second because I've been testing all these new lashes for you guys for my updated affordable lash video. I was like, what an appropriate time to use these lashes then when I'm reviewing the Jacqueline Hill Vault collection. Oh, I love a dramatic lash. I'm gonna go in with my Essence Mascara. This is the I Love Extreme 
crazy volume. I'm still in love with this. This palette doesn't have a like shimmery highlight shade, so I'm just gonna go into the original Jaclyn Hill palette, and I'm gonna take this shade right here. It's either in light or beam. I can't remember because um, I bought the palette before they put the names on it, and I don't have that insert. So I'm just gonna take that with this little Eco Tools brush. You can use any little detail brush that you have. I also took it on my brow bone and I totally forgot to film it. I'm so sorry, but I did just take it on my brow bone. You can see it, it's right under the arch of my brow. Okay, so this is the final look and that's pretty much the end of this video. I really don't have anything else to say about this palette except I think it is Gorgeous. I love how it's so dark and smoky and sultry. I had no issues whatsoever I'm really picky when it comes to makeup and I can be a very harsh critic If you've seen some of my reviews, you'll see me nitpick at like the smallest little things, but So far so good. I used almost every single shade except for two So the only one I didn't use was this brown one and this cream one, but other than that everything was fantastic. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you guys took the time to watch this video, stay tuned for my next two videos. I will be announcing my giveaway as soon as the palette comes in, so stay tuned for that. It'll be coming up in one of my next videos. Um, hopefully it'll be here soon so I can announce it soon. And then stay tuned for my next two for sure. We'll be doing the Bling Boss and then the Ring the Alarm. Thank you so, so much for watching and let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe before you go and you hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos and I will see you in my next one. Bye.